Okay, in this hopefully short video, we're going to learn that magnification is high ho. Now, you'll find this in the text on page 119. Um, and you can take a note accordingly. So, um, our definition is as follows. So, magnification is just the ratio of the image height to the object height. So, small m for magnification is hi, height of the image, and h sub o, height of the object. Now, if we look at that in a simple ray diagram, so say we have a converging lens, represent using a symbol as such, and uh, I'm going to draw in what the lens looks like, just for good measure. So if we place, let's suppose that the uh, focal point of the lens is here, and the one on the other side is there, so if that's the focal point on this side and that's the focal point on that side, so suppose we put an object here in front of the lens. Um, and if we use our magic rays to work out where the image will fall, there's a ray parallel to the principal axis, which is refracted down through the principal focus. And magic ray number two comes from the same point on the object and passes through the optical center of the lens and is undeviated. Now, we have to extend the rays a little bit to get them to meet. There we go. So therefore, the image is going to be here. So there's the image. And we see, in this case, we've put the object beyond the principal focus, and presumably before twice the principal, twice the focal length. Uh, the image is real, it's inverted, and it is magnified because it is bigger than the object. Now, um, if we want to define its magnification or calculate its magnification, we simply say that its magnification is the height of the image over the height of the object. Well, we could do that in this case, so let's do it. Um, I've actually made my object two and a half centimeters tall, so that would be 2.5, and in this particular case, my image is uh, 3.8 centimeters. So therefore, the image height is 3.8 centimeters, the object height was 2.5 centimeters, and that's a ratio of 3.8 divided by 2.5, which is 1.52. Now, we've divided centimeters by centimeters, so the magnification is a simple ratio. It has no unit, so it's just 1.52. What does that mean? It means that the image is 1.52 times the size of the object. Now, uh, 
we can calculate the magnification in another way, which is like this. If you notice, uh, in our ray diagram, if we look at the object and this distance from the object to the lens center, well, that is the object distance, u. And this distance from the lens center to the foot of the image, that distance is the image distance. V. Now, the object and the object distance are at right angles to each other and form a triangle with the ray through the center. Um, the same thing is true on the other side. So we have a right angle triangle. And these angles here are, equi are equal to each other because they are vertically opposite. So in this triangle, we have 90 degrees and that, and this angle. And in this triangle, we have 90 degrees and that, and that angle. Therefore, that angle and that angle are also the same as each other. They are equal also. Therefore, we have two equiangular triangles. Therefore, the triangles are similar. And similar triangles have corresponding sides in the same proportion. So the ratio of this side to this side will be the same as the ratio of this side to this side. Um, so therefore, um, using similar triangles, so the ratio of the image height to the object height, hi over ho, will be the same as the ratio of the image distance to the object distance, v to u. So the magnification uh, is the ratio of image height to object height, but it's also the ratio of image distance to object distance. And that fact can come in rather useful because if we know the magnification and we know either v or u we can use the magnification factor to calculate the unknown or vice versa and likewise if we know v and u but we don't know the heights we can still calculate the magnification okay um, i think we can fit in at the bottom of the page here the definition of power of a lens. Now, the power of a lens refers to its converging or diverging power. It's not the same thing as mechanical power. So the mechanical power of a device is, is defined as its rate of doing work or its rate of transferring energy. So the work done divided by time taken or energy transferred divided by time taken. But power of a lens does not mean the same thing. The definition of lens power um, is as follows. So the power of a lens, which is denoted as big P, uh, is defined as 1 over F. In other words, the reciprocal of the focal length. Now, what that means is that um, because the focal length, um, well, if you think of a converging lens, the shorter the focal length of the lens, in other words, the more convex it is, uh, the more strongly it converges rays of light. So 
as f gets shorter, 1 over f gets bigger, and so the power gets bigger. So the point of defining power this way is that a large number for power uh, will correspond to a short focal length um, and will correspond to a lens that, that, that converges light quite powerfully. Um, okay, so focal length f is given in the base units of length of meters. Um, and then power has units of meters to the minus one, one over meters. And they have a special name, which is diopters. And the symbol for diopters is D. And a converging lens has a real focus, therefore it has a positive focal length, and therefore it has a positive power. So positive power. A diverging lens has a virtual focus, therefore a negative focal length, and therefore a negative power. Now we've run to space, but I still put a little around the back. So for example, uh, if we had a converging lens of focal length fifteen centimeters. So the lenses we used in our experiments were those. Um, then the power of such a lens is just the reciprocal of its focal length. So that's one over f, but it's not one over fifteen, it's one over naught point one five because fifteen centimeters is naught point one five meters. And it's a converging lens so it's positive 0.15 meters, and that would give us a value of 0.15, 6 6.6 repeating, so that would be 6.7 to two significant figures, diopter. So 6.7 meters to the minus one, 6.7 diopter, or 6.7 capital D. And it was a positive focal length, so it's a positive power. So that lens has a power of positive 6.7 diopter, which is a pretty powerful lens. For completeness, we can do a diverging lens. So if we have a diverging lens of focal length, let's make it a little longer, uh, let's say it is 200 millimeters, okay. then its power is also 1 over f. Now 200 millimeters is 0.2 meters, 0.200 meters, it's a diverging lens, therefore we give it a negative sign, or its virtual focal length. And uh, 1 over 0 0.2 is 5, um, so that would be 5 diopters, or 5.0, and it's also a negative. So, Um, so, this diverging lens would have a power of negative 5.0 diopter, which is also quite a strong lens.